guys, here's a quick t tutorial on how to install Reshade into 5M uh, in 2020. So first off, you want to open up reshade.me, just on whatever browser you want. Scroll right down to the bottom, download the most updated version, currently it's 4.7.0. And then you want to open up the Reshade setup installer which I'll just drag over here here we go uh, you wanna click that you wanna install it into GTA 5 now I've already got it installed so I just wanna click update but there'll be an install button I check all of these and there's quite a few different things to go through just keep clicking on them making sure all the settings are there this gives the ability to change so much within the game so I suggest having them all selected if you don't you have limited options it's a really easy install now you don't even have to change the name of any files anymore Okay, now everyone at this point just click X, you don't want to do that. See right here, I have a folder called Reshade Preset Library. This is where I have all of my presets. I suggest you make a folder on your desktop and put all your presets in there. Because then what you can do is you edit the Reshade Presets. And right here where it says Preset, it has the preset path and say it's currently set on GTA you just scroll straight to your desktop and then you find the reshade preset library which is just down here and then you click on one of the shaders so shady reshade v3 click on performance mode and OK now you can X out, uh, to get up the reshade menu press home and up in this top bar you can select any of the things from that library that you put on your desktop which is a really awesome thing, my favourite preset is fucking fuck I think, or is it fucking chillin? It's fucking chillin Not realistic whatsoever I still love it. And this is all the effects you can change because you installed all of them. <laughs> I did not know it did that. <laughs> but yeah, it gives you a shit ton of options. Some not needed, like the face, but. Like, there's so many different fucking things that you can change to make the game look the best you think you can make it. And also, if you turn off performance mode, it'll take a little bit to load. But you can edit the colorfulness, so on, so on. You can edit all your settings that you have which I think is a really cool feature and then you just turn performance mode back on press home to close the menu alright now we're into 5M uh, this is what the fucking chilling preset looks like I think it looks fucking awesome um, we'll head down to the beach, we'll spawn a car show you how the lights look and what different effects can do in the game so for example shady reshade <coughs> you can all saved Spawn Furious's new 16 Explorer. 
really nice bright lights. To be honest, I'm definitely going to change Shady Reshade. Although I don't think I have too many things turned on. Um, I'm just definitely missing some color. I think this is how easy it is to change stuff. See that goes a bit much, but it's perfect for some. <coughs> And I'm going to edit in performance mode. I like to drag the reshade menu over to the other side. <coughs> so by that, you just grab the top and you drag it to that. I'm definitely going to bring that color down a bit. Don't need it that vibrant. A little bit. I love that up there. It's really easy. <coughs> Fake HDR is a good one to edit. Brighten up the day. Turn down shadows. I think that's going to be good, performance mode, <coughs> and then you turn the menu off, you're all good to go. So that tutorial is just a quick to show you how to install, reshade, um, select presets, and how to change them once in, in the game, and use some different effects. Video. Have fun with Reshade.